Smoke rises after military strikes, as Russia's attack on Ukraine continues, in Lviv, Ukraine April 18, 2022. Reuters Roman Balak Firefighters work at the site of military strikes on buildings as Russia's attack on Ukraine continues, in Lviv, Ukraine, Reuters Pavlo Palamarchuk. The coffin of Roman Vered, 53, who according to his family was killed by Russian soldiers and recently identified in Kyiv's morgue, is seen before his burial, as a grave digger drinks water, at the cemetery in Urban, Kyiv region, Ukraine, Reuters Zora Ben Semra. Ukrainian servicemen and rescuers inspect the site of military strikes on buildings as Russia's attack on Ukraine continues. In Lviv, Ukraine, Reuters Roman Balak. Man inspect the site of military strikes on buildings in Lviv, Ukraine, Reuters Pavlo Palamarchuk. Tatiana Vered, 53, mourns the death of her husband, Roman Vered, 53, who according to his family was killed by Russian soldiers and recently identified in Kyiv's morgue as she stands with Anna Proydenko, 57, during his funeral at the cemetery in Urban, Kyiv region, Ukraine, Reuters Zora Ben Semra. Firefighters work at the site of military strikes on buildings as Russia's attack on Ukraine continues, in Lviv, Ukraine, Reuters Pavlo Palamarchuk. A man walks near a residential building destroyed during Ukraine-Russia conflict in the southern port city of Mariupol, Ukraine, Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko. Service members of pro-Russian troops gather in a street during Ukraine-Russia conflict in the southern port city of Mariupol, Ukraine, Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko. A man rides a bicycle near a destroyed tank during Ukraine-Russia conflict in the southern port city of Mariupol, Ukraine, Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko. Armored vehicles of pro-Russian troops drive along a road during Ukraine-Russia conflict near the southern port city of Mariupol, Ukraine, Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko. A view shows a street which was damaged during Ukraine-Russia conflict in the southern port city of Mariupol, Ukraine, Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko. A service member of pro-Russian troops sits on a chair in a street near a building, which was destroyed during Ukraine-Russia conflict in the southern port city of Mariupol, Ukraine, Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko. Service members of pro-Russian troops drive tanks during Ukraine-Russia conflict near the southern port city of Mariupol, Ukraine, Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko. People walk along a street, which was damaged during Ukraine-Russia conflict in the southern port city of Mariupol, Ukraine, Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko. Service members of pro-Russian troops drive an armored vehicle during Ukraine-Russia conflict near the southern port city of Mariupol, Ukraine, Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko. People walk past the turret of a tank, which was destroyed during Ukraine-Russia conflict in the southern port city of Mariupol, Ukraine, Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko. Service members of pro-Russian troops help civilians to get on an armored vehicle during Ukraine-Russia conflict in the southern port city of Mariupol, Ukraine, Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko. A passenger of a car speaks near the turret of a tank, which was destroyed during Ukraine-Russia conflict in the southern port city of Mariupol, Ukraine, Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko. People walk past the turret of a tank, which was destroyed during Ukraine-Russia conflict in the southern port city of Mariupol, Ukraine, Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko. A man walks past a residential building, which was destroyed during Ukraine-Russia conflict in the southern port city of Mariupol, Ukraine, Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko. 
service members of pro-Russian troops sit atop of an armored vehicle during Ukraine-Russia conflict near the southern port city of Mariupol, Ukraine. Reuters Alexander Ermishenko A view shows a residential building, which was destroyed during Ukraine-Russia conflict in the southern port city of Mariupol, Ukraine. Reuters Alexander Ermishenko a man walks along a street near a residential building, which was destroyed during Ukraine-Russia conflict in the southern port city of Mariupol, Ukraine. Reuters Alexander Ermishenko Sensitive material. This image may offend or disturb. A view shows the bodies of civilians killed during Ukraine-Russia conflict in the southern port city of Mariupol, Ukraine. Reuters Alexander Ermishenko Local residents sit on a bench outside a residential building damaged during Ukraine-Russia conflict in the southern port city of Mariupol, Ukraine. Reuters Alexander Ermishenko A woman walks inside a building, which was damaged during Ukraine-Russia conflict in the southern port city of Mariupol, Ukraine. Reuters Alexander Ermishenko a view shows residential buildings destroyed during Ukraine-Russia conflict in the southern port city of Mariupol, Ukraine. Reuters Alexander Ermishenko Firefighters operate at a damaged apartment block following Russian shelling amid Russia's attack on Ukraine in Kharkiv, Ukraine. Reuters Alkis Konstantinides a woman walks outside a residential building destroyed during Ukraine-Russia conflict in the southern port city of Mariupol, Ukraine. Reuters Alexander Ermishenko Firefighters operate at a damaged apartment block following Russian shelling amid Russia's attack on Ukraine in Kharkiv, Ukraine. Reuters Alkis Konstantinides a firefighter operates at a damaged apartment block following Russian shelling amid Russia's attack on Ukraine in Kharkiv, Ukraine. Reuters Alkis Konstantinides A man stands at the balcony of a damaged apartment following Russian shelling amid Russia's attack on Ukraine in Kharkiv, Ukraine. Reuters Alkis Konstantinides